Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Coast Alton Towers. Now before we start off this episode I must apologise uh, for not having any videos uh, at all with Alton Towers Planet Coaster in the past week or so. Um, I've been feeling a bit burnt out with Planet Coaster, I haven't been feeling myself and so I just I didn't really have the motivation to do a lot of work. I have done some work specifically the exits, uh, the exit platform the station and the maintenance shed area of Rita and that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. So here I'm actually reprofiling this bit of the track, redoing a bit of the track layout because it turns out I got it a bit wrong and I figured out whilst I was doing these supports. So not only was that, uh, what, what do you call it, the trim brakes, the trim brakes were too short um, but also I missed out a block section in between those two turns in the final turnaround because it banks to the left and then it banks to the right and there's a block section in between those two banks uh, the, or the, the banking element whatever you want to call it I don't really care uh, so I missed that out but I will be putting that in in just a few minutes of course and just doing the supports of these uh, the trim brakes here the, these supports are a bit weird um, for me this part of Rito is always the most recognizable part I don't know why it's just whenever I see this support structure and the trim brakes it's supporting it's always like oh that that's Rita instantly uh, think of Rita when I see another uh, section of track of Rita um, I never really instantly think it's Rita but for some reason whenever I see this support structure it's my brain always instantly goes to Rita and I really don't know why now here doing the track connectors try my best to uh, work around frontiers a bit of a stupid what, what, do you, what was it called? The advanced move tool, that's it. Yeah, the advanced move tool is a bit stupid and sometimes it doesn't work in the way I want it, but, well, got to work around it sometimes, but eventually I did work around it and I got this support structure done. Using the bigger, thicker supports instead of the smaller ones like I used on the turnaround uh, and the airtime hill in the last episode, because I do think these supports are actually thicker in real life, and to be honest, they just look better, they fit better, with this trim brakes try and straighten it up there so it connects to all the connectors and the track of course now whilst building this section of track and you know building stuff in this episode i actually realized something that i never knew before and that was rita doesn't have any friction brakes i don't know why i've never thought about that i don't know why i've only just found about it found out about it now sorry but uh, yeah, it's all magnetic brakes with Rita, there's no friction brakes at all. The brakes on launch, they're all magnetic, these trim brakes are magnetic, the final brake runs magnetic. I mean, the only friction part of Rita is the drive tyres that send it into the station and send it out of the station. And just to talk a bit about the station, to be honest, you'll see it later on in the episode. The station in Planet Coso is just too wide and to fit in a Rita's actual station uh, footprint. And also the way they've made the train fit in the station as well, which is, it makes it so difficult to recreate. I've had to cut some corners with doing it. So uh, for the onload platform you're seeing there, the train is half off the, on the offload platform. I cannot speak today. But um, yeah, it's annoying how Planet Coast has done that, but just got to work our way around it, cut some corners, and just got to live with it, to be honest, because they're not going to update the game anytime soon, and, it'll, and if they do change that, it'll probably be in Planet Coaster 2, if that ever happens. Here, I'm just starting the maintenance shed, and this is probably one of the easiest maintenance sheds I've ever had to build in Planet Coaster. It's literally just a rectangular tin shed. It's not difficult at all. It was fairly easy to do with the transfer track there as well, um, and the train going right through the maintenance shed I thought that was quite interesting when I saw that for like you know most trains are stored in the maintenance shed with the track ending at the other side of the maintenance shed but no this one goes through it and out the other side it's just it's kind of a bit odd I don't know why but uh yeah that's just how it is really uh these are actually supposed to be skylights uh Smiler has these on its maintenance shed a lot of maintenance sheds um and you know buildings like these have skylights but of course uh couldn't redo it in planet coaster there's not really a specific piece you can do it with i was maybe thinking of using glass pieces but they just wouldn't work well they wouldn't look right so i just change it different color make it look like a skylight um, and moved on really doing these shutters now for the maintenance shed you know the rollers that they bring down and put back up when they want to you know take a train off the track or put a train on the track 
and also to all the people probably going down in the comments saying did you remember to put the duck on the roof did you remember to do it yes i remember to do it uh, there isn't a specific duck piece in planet coaster uh, the team tk ones are too big as well so i ended up using some sort of art shape i think i left it in the time lapse i'm not sure if i cut out or not because the way i edit these videos um I edit the time lapse first and then I just record my voice over it whilst this is playing in my editor. But uh, yeah, so I don't I don't know if I've left it in or not. But I guess we'll find out. But yes, the tiny rubber duck is on there on the roof. Oh, and it turns out I didn't put it in the time lapse. We're just going to skip to the catwalks. And once again, these catwalks, like the maintenance shed, were very, very easy to do. Rita is a straightforward ride, to be honest. There's no weird terrain to Rita. There's no weird layout or weird structures to it like Wickman or Smiler or Nemesis it's a straightforward ride to be honest and I think this might be the one of the easiest things I've built in Planet Coaster to be honest even though I might be uh, demotivated right now to build in Planet Coaster it is still quite easy to do so just building the catwalk for the brake run here um, put the transfer tracks or rail things off camera uh, those things probably aren't accurate but at the same time I couldn't find any pictures of that transfer track up close so I couldn't really do it very accurately and I just had to guess it to be honest here just doing the offload platform with all the fences around not finished in, eps in this episode sorry but uh, yeah we'll, f we'll finish it off camera and then on next episode we'll be moving on to the main load platform um, the, the air gates, the queue line, you know, that sort of stuff, and maybe start a bit of scenery in terms of trees and bushes and terrain around the area as well. But this is what the rest of the video is going to be, just these two, well not two, but this platform here and doing a few other things as well. And so I'm actually going to leave you here, so thank you very much for watching today's video, of course, enjoy the rest of the time lapse in this video. No cinematics at the end, but uh, yeah, just continue watching cinematics with a bit of Alton Towers music in the background. And yeah, I'll see you in the next episode of Alton Towers Planet Coaster. I'll try my best not to get demotivated like I have done over the past week. And I will, of course, try my best to get an episode out as soon as possible. With that being said, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, then please do consider subscribing. And if you're not on our Discord server, then join the Discord server. There is an invite link in the comments and description. So that's it, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.